Okay, we're on the lots 13 and 14 here. Uh, uh, the purebred influence offering, we've got a pair of gilts here that uh, the new class there that uh, started a few years ago uh, has moved on and going to be in Perry, Georgia. So these gilts are solid wide if you're new to Yorkshire, pairing Southwest uh, a kind of gilt uh, that they'll go market or breeding. Or if you want to show her at uh, Perry, Georgia in the purebred influence class, these gilts will both be registered that way as well. Lot 13 is where we're going to start. This is 10-3. Uh, she's sired by the closing time boar. This is his first crop. Uh, that's a boar that we raised uh, in partnership with Austin and Mortensen and Three's Company. We sold him to the stud, uh, Kelton Mason and Daniel Schley. Bought that boar back in the meantime. We like our pigs out of him. Uh, mother is a... Uh, is a gilt that's uh, that's a actually a knockout that uh, uh, gilt that was grand overall at the Western Regional this past go round a knockout dominator grandmother would be the uh, uh, Caldwell gilt that was reserved grand in 2019 overall at the Expo so a very good pedigree we decided to breed this purebred female as I said she was champion at the Western Regional for the Backman crew and Lindley's there that uh, uh, bred her cross made some solid whites sold a solid white litter mate bear extremely well at lackeys so. Short litter, but a good litter. This is 10-3, uh, uh, lot 13. She's a gilt that we think uh, feet and legs are tremendously good. She's high-headed. She's level. She's sound. She's square. A gilt that, uh, you know, a little more immature, maybe a little more knockout looking would be the best way to put it. I think uh, once she comes with it, and she will, I think that gilt will be a very good big one because she's mobile. She's square. She's up on her pasterns, and I think one that reads like a breeding gilt to us uh, that's still got some grow and got some look and design, I think one that will feed tremendously, tremendously good. Uh, lot 14 would be a gilt that's uh, uh, also in the purebred influence. A little bit younger gilt uh, in the group, but uh, she's sired by Quitting Time, which Quitting Time's a Cantrell boar that uh, uh, we've used pretty heavy here the past few seasons and decided to breed to make some solid whites uh, in the purebred influence as well. We bred a right step, uh, right step dominator gilt. Uh, uh, this gilt actually originated from uh, the Hendricksons there at uh, Farmland. Uh, we inquired their sows and uh, a gilt here that we think uh, the mating worked extremely well because she's probably more market or breeding. Do what you want to do with her. A uh, gilt that's pretty versatile in her type and kind. If you need a solid white one that'll class York in a market or breeding setting, she'll work for that. If you want to show her the influence at Georgia, we think she'll do that as well. Added shape, added dimension, offers a little more moderation and frame, but still one that's heavy bone. Uh, she's one that still offers a nice kind of a look with some shape and muscul uh, muscularity working down her. I think one that'll feed tremendously well regardless on what you want to do. Nice pair of gilts different in their type and kind. We think uh, offer the uh, solid white program or the purebred influence will be very competitive. 